So the first form or type of condensation is called as dew. Have you guys seen dew? People who get up early in the morning would have seen. Others would not have seen. Have you guys seen dew? Yes. Okay. Good. So how does dew form? I've explained. At night, when a surface becomes very cold, at night when a surface becomes very cold, air will come in contact with the surface. The temperature of the air will go down. And listen, everybody. When the temperature of the air will go down, the relative humidity will decrease or increase? Huh? Increase. Very, very good. So this is what you have to be very confident. Yeah. When the temperature of the air parcel goes down, the carrying capacity of the air will huh? decrease. When the temperature will go down, the carrying capacity of the air will go down and relative humidity will increase water droplets would be formed on the surface. This type of condensation is called as dew. So when will this happen? Will it happen during the day or during the night? Very good. So the colder surface will be formed during the night time only. Yes or no? Super bright. In the roof form of water droplets on cooler surfaces of solid objects rather than the nuclei in the air above. So the other is nuclei. So that is not happening here. Such as stones, grass blades and plant leaves. It is called as dew. Now, don't check out the board. Please don't copy. Now tell me what would be the ideal conditions where dew formation will be more. What type of condition should be there when dew formation will be more? Think. You have studied these conditions when you study temperature inversion. What kind of conditions will help dew formation more? Uh, okay, that's one thing. But then, more important conditions. Low temperature means at what time of the year? Long winter nights when there would be fast of radiation would be pulled up and the area would become colder. Any other conditions that would support it? Online friends. Cloudless sky so that the radiation can escape easily and the land can become colder. Yes or no? Same conditions that we studied in temperature inverse. So write down. The ideal conditions and if there should be relative humidity should be high so that water easily precipitates. The ideal condition formation are clear sky. Calm air. Now, why do you need calm air? Can anybody explain this calm air for me? It will carry the it will carry the humidity. No, that is not the reason. I said that it is coming into contact with the cold surface. Now, if the air flows, it won't get enough time to cool down. So the air should come in contact with the cold surface for some time where the temperature will reduce. Understood? Calm air, high relative humidity, and cold and long nights. So all these factors are same for which part also? Temperature inversion, right? Except there was no high relative humidity, clear sky, calm air, cold and long nights. All this was also conditions for temperature inversion. 